How are you all doing, my fellow viewers? My name is Etika, and if you watched my other videos before, you saw I uploaded a battle to Pokemon Pit, and um, it was quite an interesting match. I got a lot of mixed reaction from that, and I really enjoy battles like that. Something that makes you talk. I, I dig that shit. Anyways, I have a battle against a random opponent, so um, I think it was a really good match, and I'm using a brand new team as well, so I really hope you do enjoy. Anyways, um, contact me anyhow if you want. I mean, Facebook, whatever. It's all good to me. Enjoy. is actually a different superior from my other one. This one has a bit of a different moveset, but regardless, I go in there and I make sure to go for the taunt because I don't want this thing setting up any stealth rocks or spikes or anything like that. The only problem is that I don't exactly have something to hit on the counter offensive side, so I decide that I should probably stop taking his silver balls to the face and actually switch into something that can set up on this guy. So I go into my beloved Ainto, and Ainto, ah, it has the hustle, plus it has a great attack stat, on the top of that, it, 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 it has a life orb as well. With one Hone Clause, my accuracy restores the accuracy lost by the Hustle ability, and it gives me a, a massive attack stat. I'm about to do some damage here. Take a look at this. It's all about Ainto right now. Ainto is crazy in this game, man. But yeah, so I'm, I'm able to take down the Ferrothorn, and yet this Lucario comes in, and so I send in Gyarados to intimidate him, just so his extreme speed doesn't do so much damage. I didn't want to sacrifice Ainto, because I figured it would be useful since he's really fast as well. So he switches and goes into Dragonite, but this is my support Rain Dance Gyarados. And so I set up the Rain Dance, right? I'm not going to reveal the reason why, though. I want, I want that to show up later. But anyways, I then go for the Thunder Wave. I had a few speeds. I had a few speed EVs in this guy too, so I'm actually faster than the Dragonite. And so Thunder Wave, I I know Dragonites these days like to be really supportive, so I actually had the taunt on my Gyarados as well, just to prevent any possible setups that may happen. And thankfully I did, because everyone knows that a dragon dancing or a substituting Dragonite with the multi-scale is not something friendly to face. And so at this point he sends me out. But it's no big deal because I needed to switch out anyways, and so I go into Escarga, and Escarga is one of my special Pokemon. But then again, all of my Pokemon are special to me, so I mean, you're gonna hear me say that about every single member of the team, basically. But he goes back into Lucario, and I go for the Ice Beam. He definitely expected it because, I mean, oh, oh it got frozen, oh, dude. I don't even, I didn't even remember that. Oh snap. Oh, I, oh god. Dude, it's like, anyway, so I go for this Shell Smash, and you know, I could explain a deep strategy here, but it's exactly what it looks like. I'm trying to sweep, and so I go for the Surf, Lucario, I'm not sure if it's defense or it's special defense is better, but it doesn't matter here, because it gets taken out in one hit. And then the Dragonite comes back in, and I Ice Beam once more, because I have decent speed investment as well, so I knew I would be faster than this Dragonite, especially after the Thunder Wave, so no problems there and thankfully i'm on a good roll here but you know a battle can change at the drop of a hat so i'm not getting too cocky at all i expected this guy to be scarfed but um he wasn't so that was good for me and so far the battle is going in a good direction but things can always turn around i don't exactly remember this battle too well either so um i go for the surf here and just look at the sheer bulk that throw has i mean it absorbs the surf like it's nothing it tosses me out the game and the rain was still falling at this point i believe
just saw Pinocchio in action, and Pinocchio is a great weather setup. I used to use it for my sun teams, and now I use it for my rain dance team as well. It, it, it really is good. I mean, a lot of people don't know what the typing is in the first place, so people struggle with it. But anyways, this throw was in the game, and um, he actually proved that he was going to be a threat when he showed me he had a rest. That was really bad, especially with the taunt. Now, I need to make sure I stopped him from bulking up, so he goes for the payback. It doesn't kill me off, and I'm lucky I got the Intimidate off to lower his attack a little bit. I go for the Aqua Tail, and um, I believe it's raining at this moment, so it does a decent amount, because my Gyarados has no attack EVs whatsoever. It's a weird Gyarados, I know, but I mean, it, it still works well for the team, sort of. It's really, really fun. You should try it out. If you're unaware, Amistar has the highest attack, special attack I mean, of all water Pokemon that are not legends, so this throw is really absorbing hits like a boss right now. Luckily Basculin, aka Scurvy, she's able to take him down, and um, it works pretty well in my favor. I go for the Aqua Tail, it's not raining right now. Look at the damage Scurvy's able to put out. It almost takes Reuniclus out totally, and you know Reuniclus usually come with like, um, defense EV, so I mean, I'm just going to finish this off and it'll be a good game. Well, that was a really fun battle. I, I hope that satisfies some of the people that were saying that they wanted to see a little bit more of a competitive edge to my battling. I mean, I have a lot of other videos that I uploaded too that show a little bit more of my like, you, you could say my fiery side, but I, I guess lately I've been having a li little bit more fun in Pokemon because I kind of did the whole hardcore OU standard Tyranitar and Latios team. I, I did all that a while ago, so I mean, um, forgive me if I act like I'm not really taking the game too seriously, but I mean, well, I mean I, I'm deciding to pretty much enjoy myself, but I mean, regardless, I have a lot of fun doing these battles, and I definitely have a lot of fun making these videos for the people that watch them. So um, if you enjoyed this, um, definitely stay tuned. I have a lot more coming for you. I'll be sure to bring you content on a regular basis at this point, and I'll definitely bring some more to Pokemon Pit as well also. And um, so basically, uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot for watching the video, by the way. And um, please, if you ever want to add me on Facebook, just to be friends, talk about Pokemon, on whatever it, it's all good just add me on facebook my link is facebook.com slash a greater future and um that's about it thanks a lot and take care